Hey guys, it's Alexis and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a styling video of fall 2021 trends. Um, I have a list of all the trends written right here in my notebook. So I figured before I start styling, I would kind of just go through the list of different trend predictions and then also talk about some trends that I personally will not be participating in and then I will get the styling so stay tuned for that. But like I said, before we get started, I'm just going to go through the list really quick. Um, so the first thing I've seen, which is technically I feel like been around for a while, uh, which is bright and vibrant colors. I, again, I feel like I've seen that for a pretty long time, so it's really nothing new. Um, but that's something that is really popular, especially this season or this upcoming season. Um, kind of contrasting or contrasting the bright and vibrant colors, uh, earth tones is supposed to be really popular. So that's like um, olive greens, browns, neutrals, all of those types of colors are coming back and supposed to be really popular this fall, as well as something called tonal tailoring. I did look into that and see what that was, but um, it's pretty much just, like I said, neutral tones in office wear. So whether that's trousers, a suit, um, dresses, just monochromatic or monochrome, yeah, monochromatic uh, tonal outfits. And then cutouts are supposed to be really popular, as well as the early 2000s, 90s revival. That's been around, still here, nothing's changed. Boots are supposed to be coming back, so like knee high boots, maybe even thigh high boots, just different types of fun, crazy boots. I feel like that has been around too with the birth of, or I don't really know how long Paris, Texas, the brand has been around, but they blew up, I want to say within the last two years or something. So they've been around and they really have um, been like the number one boot, like a funky boot shop that I've seen. Uh, large sweaters and cable knit sweaters are supposed to be really popular as well as plaid, which again, I mean, that's kind of just a staple for fall. Everybody has that. And then some trends that I personally will not be following are puffy coats. I don't like puffy coats. I've never really liked puffy coats. I think I own one, one puffy coat that I wear if I'm just like really cold, running out the door, don't want to be seen, but I just need like comfort. That's pretty much why I have that. So I will not be participating in that trend as well as fringe. I do have a couple of items that have fringe on them, but I just personally don't really love it for me right now. I, I'm just not really into fringe anymore. Um, maybe, maybe once it's not popular, I'll like it, but like, yeah, like I said, I probably just won't be purchasing any new items that have fringe on them unless I did see some fringe skirts, which they're like, I, I'll try to insert a picture if I can or remember, but um, I've seen this picture of somebody who had like a fringe mini skirt and it was like one of the coolest things I'd seen. So that sounds weird, but it was really cute. And if I ever found a fringe mini skirt, then I would definitely pick that up. But other than that, just not really into it. Um, sweater vests, those have been around for a while. I just personally don't love them on me. I feel like I look like a grandpa or a child and it's just like, it's just not for me. I'm trying to think of anything else. Oh, something that is supposed to be really popular that I personally don't have and so I will be looking for in the future are knit, knitwear. Um, I, again, I feel like that has been around for a while too, which isn't a bad thing. Um, I actually really like that. I feel like a lot of the trends that are supposed to be popular this season have actually been around for a while, which to me signals that we're finally starting to slow down on our trend cycles. We're not doing any more micro trends, anything like that. Like we're, we're finally starting to like, you know, just chill a little bit with the trends. So yeah, I'm just excited that a lot of the stuff that's coming around this season, majority of the people that are into fashion have already, so they can finally utilize it from seasons prior or previous. So that's really cool. And then another thing that is really popular, I think I said this already, but I just don't really own myself and I really want to invest in or make our cutouts. Now, there's a difference between like, 
when I've personally seen, I feel like there is a visual difference between the brands that are more affordable and more like high fashion brands in their cutouts. Like, I was watching a video earlier and she was saying that. She like nailed it on the head. She said that um, the more just like generic brands really go more clubby with their cutouts and then the more high fashion brands really go more like avant-garde where it's definitely more just even flattering, you know, or even just a little bit more unique versus just like cut out some side, cut out here. Like it's different, it's unique, it's cool. We haven't really seen it before. So we definitely want to try to either invest in a piece or potentially make a piece that has cool cutouts in the future. So stay tuned for that. I really hope I can find some cool pieces for those trends. But other than that, oh, I do have one more thing to say. No, I don't. <laughs> but without further ado, let's get started. So this is my take on the jean on jean look or Canadian tuxedo as some people like to call it. But I'm wearing just these dark wash uh, high-waisted wide leg jeans. These are from PacSun and I paired it with just a graphic white tank top. That is from Revice Denim and this adorable black jean jacket. Uh, my friend actually gave this to me and it did not have a tag on it so I don't know where this is from but I'm obsessed with this jacket. I wear it all the time. It's the perfect cropped jacket which is very on trend for 2021 and I love the silver stud details and it also has gold buttons so it is two-toned which is perfect. It goes with all of my jewelry. I love it and I just paired the entire outfit with square toed booties. Those are from ASOS and my little bag from Doc Martens. So for the second look, I'm not really following any trends for this other than the baby pink and I'm just wearing a uh, floral dress that I actually got from a thrift store. I paired it with this beautiful caramel brown leather trench coat. This I actually bought at a flea market in New York City a long time ago, but I love this jacket so much. I put on these um, brown suede booties with this outfit. I hate them, actually. I really don't like them with this look, but that was pretty much all I had. So for this look, I'm styling plaid. I'm wearing this really cute button-up plaid crop top that I actually purchased from a pop-up store here in Jacksonville, Florida. Um, the lady that I bought it from, she actually painted on that little heart, and I really like it, actually. I think it reminds me of Colombe de Garçon. If you guys know what I'm talking about, it's that little like heart guy with the eyes. Love it. I paired it with this black mini skirt with safety pins in it. That's from Unif, and then the same ASOS booties that I wore in the first outfit. Um, I'm... I just like to style my tops like this. I really, I button them pretty low and then I pull them kind of higher up just to give me a really exposed neckline. I just think it makes the button up just a little bit more interesting rather than me just wearing it normally. And I also changed out the boots to these black booties just to give the outfit a little bit more pizzazz. As you can see, those are from Aldo. So this is my take on tonal tailoring. I am wearing this gorgeous caramel colored trench coat from Express and it actually has this really pretty brown and baby pink uh, plaid lining that is also very on trend. I paired it with these cream pants from Express as well with a little uh, bow tie waistband, I guess you could say, and just a plain oatmeal colored sweater. I believe this is from H&M and the same caramel booties that I've worn before. I don't think this is actually tonal tailoring. I mean, it's kind of monochromatic, I guess you could say, but I do think this is cute. I think it's a little bit more interesting rather than me wearing all the same color. This outfit actually has a few trends. Uh, it has the crop top, it has the plaid, and I guess you could also call this tonal tailoring. Um, the trousers are from Express and they have this really cute paper bag waistline to them. Um, the top is from Free People. The top is actually houndstooth uh, versus plaid on the bottom and I paired it with this really cute uh, plaid trench coat. This is from Banana Republic. I just really like this outfit and I, and I love the juxtaposition between the houndstooth pattern on the top and the plaid pants on the bottom. I just think it complements each other really well. Um, and I just threw on a different jacket in case the plaid on plaid on plaid was a little bit too much for you guys. You can just put on a black jacket just to tone down the outfit a little bit more. 
but I really like this. I've actually worn this outfit a few times. I think it's perfect for any nighttime event where you just want to be a little bit more dressy. And I'm just wearing these Chloe or Chloe uh, Chelsea boots. <laughs> um, this outfit is just me doing the bright color. Um, instead of going with more of a neon, I just went with like a bright, vibrant red. And I paired it with a, the top is actually from Target. I paired it with a skirt that's from Free People. It matched that last crop top you guys saw that actually came in a set. Um, but I'm just wearing this skirt tucked in to the top. And then I'm wearing these little suede boots that I got from the Real Real. I really like this. It definitely gives me like holiday vibes but I think it's really cute and I like the sleeves on the top as well. I think it just makes it a little bit more interesting and it's very soft. This is another outfit where I'm really focusing on the bright and vibrant colors or at least my take on the bright and vibrant colors. I just really like this pop of bright purple in the dress surrounded by all that deep dark black. I just think it's really pretty. Um, the boots are from Emilio Pucci. I purchased those on consignment and the purple in the boots actually match the purple in my dress. And um, under the dress, I'm wearing a black turtleneck, just a basic black turtleneck from Express. And then the jacket I have on is also a consignment piece. But I love this outfit. I think this is perfect for any type of like transitional weather. Um, I think this would be really cute too if you were to pop on some black tights underneath. I think this is great for like going out, uh, meeting up with your friends, just getting drinks, anything um, kind of like in the city. I just think this outfit is adorable and perfect for that. So this next look is my take on the 90s revival and me kind of cheating that cutout. Um, as you can see, I only buttoned up the top of my uh, cropped sweater just to keep my midriff exposed. Again, just kind of cheating that cutout. Um, and the midi skirt I'm wearing is this gorgeous burgundy like silky material skirt. That's from Urban Outfitters. And I paired it with these Chelsea boots that are from Chloe. I got those from the Real Real. Um, my sweater, I think I said this before, but it's uh, thrifted. I love this sweater. I wear it all the time and it has kind of like a puff sleeve to it. You can't really see it in this video, but I love this outfit. I think this is so cute. Again, though, this is my take on the 90s revival. So take that as you will. So this is my fringe outfit. I went kind of Western inspired, I guess you could say with this, or kind of like Vivian Westwood inspired. Um, but the jacket I'm wearing is just a fringe cropped jacket. I've had this for years now. I don't even know where it's from. Uh, the top I'm wearing is just a corset top from Misguided. And you guys thought you were never gonna see this skirt again? Ha, <laughs> psych. That skirt, obviously, you know, it's from Anthropology. I love the skirt so much. And I'm wearing um, the same Chelsea boots, again, from Chloe. This outfit is just my basic take on that cropped sweater. The sweater I am wearing is actually from the brand LF. If you guys remember that, I got this so long ago, but I still have it in my closet just because it's so cute, very preppy. But I paired it with these uh, wedgie jeans from Levi's and the same Chelsea boots. As you can see, I put on a button down or a white button down underneath the top just in case you didn't want to show so much skin. This is just another way to incorporate that cropped sweater uh, into your wardrobe without, you know, just exposing so much. And as you can see, I only buttoned up the top I think like one button underneath the sweater just so it really kind of peplums out at the waist. It just gives you a really cute, very preppy uh, silhouette. But I really like this outfit, very casual. But you can also wear it to something that's a little bit more dressy. But again, overall, I love this outfit. For the final outfit, I am styling my chunky cable knit sweater with these jeans from Boyish. Um, I actually really like this outfit. I think the sweater is very interesting with the neckline. It's like a very wide turtleneck almost, I guess you could say, or mock neck. I wouldn't even know how to describe this, honestly. But this sweater I purchased from a Goodwill years ago. Again, like I said, the jeans are from Boyish and they have this really pretty stitching down the side that matches the color of my sweater. And I paired this outfit with some platform high top Converse or Chuck Taylors. 
um, just to give it a little bit more of a casual look. So if I was wearing this with the sneakers, I'd probably just be going to run errands, just like a casual hangout with friends, nothing super uh, dressy. But I did change out the shoes for these snakeskin booties, which you're about to see in a little bit. But I just think wearing the booties makes the outfit a little bit more dressed up, a little less casual. So I'd probably wear this if I was going to grab dinner, um, going out to get drinks, maybe going to a bar or something with friends. Like I said, just anything that's a little bit more dressy. But yeah, that was it. So I hope you guys really liked this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you next week. Bye.